So it actually is illegal to impersonate a medical professional or portray yourself as one when you are not. What Stevie O is doing is technically against the law. Which is why a doctor here on TikTok, a real one that is, actually begun the proceedings to take legal action against Stevie O. However, Stevie O found a loophole. So those legal proceedings were never really able to go any further than a cease and desist sent to his former employers at UCLA Medical Center. Essentially, it is illegal to impersonate a medical professional, but it is not illegal to play one on TV or on TikTok, for that matter. There's a pretty big difference between actually impersonating a medical professional and just playing one in a TV show or movie or even a YouTube or TikTok skit. Obviously, being an actor and playing a medical professional is not against the law, or else the guy who played Dr. McDreamy or whatever on Grey's Anatomy would be in jail. So would the entire cast of Grey's Anatomy, ER, Chicago Med, The Good Doctor, all those shows. What set Stevie O apart from those actors who were merely playing the role of a medical professional is the fact that he very much, for a very long time, portrayed himself as a real medical professional and he knew what he was doing. He very much portrayed his tips from the ER videos as being real tips and real advice from a real medical professional for a very long time. That whole jokes not advice thing that's in his bio right now did not exist until his former employers received that cease and desist. The only reason he ever put that in his bio, the only reason he is ever admitting to the fact that he is not a real medical professional and that none of his content should be taken seriously whatsoever is because somebody threatened to take his ass to court. Had that cease and desist never happened, there's not a single doubt in my mind he would still be portraying himself as a real medical professional. Which kind of goes to show that he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows his videos are harmful and dangerous. He just didn't care up until he thought that it might actually affect him. Which is why he suddenly became a comedian instead of a medical professional. So we would have no way to hold him accountable.